I would like us to move on now, do some reading um, from the textbook, and then have some more discussion. Mediation is also conveniently workable. This can only be so because there is no compulsion or imposition unlike what obtains in an adversarial system. Parties at mediation propose and agree only to what they can live with. I already said speaking to that when I mentioned that in the adversarial system, the third party um, uh, working with the parties, you know, as a rule, determine the outcome, uh, determine some procedural uh, matters, uh, unlike a non-adversarial me mechanisms like mediation, where the parties propose and agree only to what they can live with, you know, and from the beginning of the process to the end, and they, 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 they have control. And let's continue our reading. Finally, there exist some important barriers to effective conflict resolution. These include tactical barriers. When I mention barriers, I mean in adversarial systems like litigation. That's where you have these barriers to effective conflict resolution. These include tactical barriers placed by the parties consciously. You also have psychological barriers which the parties are not conscious of, as well as structural or institutional barriers. The tactical barriers are the things each party does to win in the conflict. Uh, psychological barriers are emotional blockages that must be reduced to enable parties to think out options and solutions for conflict resolution. I mentioned that earlier in one of the lectures where I said that um, unlike adversarial methods, unlike in adversarial methods, in, in amicable methods like mediation, the parties and definitely the mediator, the third party, helping the parties to resolve the matter amicably, must be sensitive to the parties' emotions because when people have conflict, emotions are most likely to rise. So those feelings are there, whether they're expressed or not. And one of the lectures I, I talked about, the fact that some parties may be quiet. The fact that they are quiet does not mean that the conflict has not done something to their emotions. And those strong emotions, those hard, strong feelings, those negative feelings can act as barriers. There, there could be emotional blockage. Almost certainly there will be emotional blockages that will be reduced or removed to enable parties think out options and solutions for conflict resolution. Now, structural barriers on the other hand are those beyond the immediate control of the individual disputants. An example of a structural barrier are court rules or procedure. Now, these barriers make adversarial conflict resolution mechanisms ineffective. Or shall I say, largely ineffective. This is so because the, in adversarial dispute resolution, the barriers cannot be controlled. In fact, they are called adversarial because of the presence of most of these barriers. Mediation and amicable dispute resolution mechanisms, on the other hand, remove these impediments. These impediments to holistic conflict resolution, to effective conflict resolution. And it does this uh, by focusing on the problem and solution rather than on the strengths and weaknesses of the parties. So an, an amicable system of conflict resolution epitomized by mediation serve, serves as um, a leverage for the parties. Um, a leverage that uh, puts the both parties on a uh, more or 
less the same pedestal as to strengths and weaknesses. So uh, you're able to reduce focus on strengths and weaknesses of the parties and move attention to what their problems are and what the solution to those problems are. So when the party is strong one way or the other or weak one way or the other, it does not necessarily matter. It's, it's what matters is what are the problems, what are the solutions. And the amicable system helps them to focus on those issues, those problems, those concerns, those unmetness, and begin to provide for them, irrespective of their individual powers. So it's, 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 it's a positive leveler. A mediation is a positive leveler. Um, so you don't have an outcome where, for one reason or the other, say power uh, disparity, a party is hot. So in, the interests of both parties are uh, uh, thoroughly uh, looked at and addressed and provide for, provided for as much as possible. In summary, therefore, mediation is flexible, voluntary, cost-effective, fast, sensible, reconciliatory, user-friendly, plain, workable. 